Right, just a little video of the LED lights I fitted to my Land Rover for the inside and also as reverse lights. For the reverse lights, I've used these little things here. These are three watt LED daytime running lights I bought off of eBay from China. I think they were about £10 for six of them and they're brilliant, they're really, really good. I'll put a link in um, to the eBay so you can buy them. And these are what, I, what I've used for the inside. LED strip lights, you get two of them for £8 I think it was off of eBay and again they're absolutely brilliant and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where I've positioned all these LED lights to give you an idea of um, how I've fitted them and then later on tonight I'm going to come out and film it in the dark so you can get an idea of how good they are. Now these ones I've used for the interior and I've fitted two in the back of my Land Rover. I'm just going to grab this camera so you can see, hopefully you'll get a bit of light here. I've fitted one at the back here, just above the canvas, runs along the top there. And I've also fitted another one here, across this bar. And how I've held them on, I've just glued them on, a bit of super glue. And I've run the cable along the top bar of the Land Rover hood sticks. All the way to the end and it's coming out into the passenger compartment i'm just going to go around the front now i'll get my humble assistant to hold the camera while i point out what i fitted under the bonnet the same things the strip lights i've used two here start down the bottom there and just follow the contour of the bonnet up there tucked it in there and the same on the other side Again, I've just used super glue to hold it into place and it's worked well. What I've done just here, I've fitted a little two pin plug so I can pull it apart easy enough if I have to take the bonnet off like that. Right, I'm going to show you where I fitted the show you where I fitted the lights inside. I've fitted them up the top there, just above the dashboard, and again glued to the windscreen rail. Now what I've also got on this as well, I've fitted some courtesy lights, so when I open my door up I've got a bit of light. What I've done is I've put the switch down here, that's the on off switch. But what I've had to do is just make up a little bar here with a bolt through it. And the bolt comes out the other side here. And then as the door closes it switches them on and off. And they're just two little LEDs that I've put in the side there. And the same on the other side. When I open and close the door they go on and off, it just gives us a bit of light as I'm getting in of the night time. I'm going to show you where I've put the rear ones now. now again, these are what I've used as my reverse lights. I'll just pass the camera over to my assistant. I've put one on the corner here and one on the corner there. But what I've also done, I'm just going to grab the camera here as well, is I've fitted two underneath. You've got one here, and I've also put one down here. And I've done that either side, and on the near side, I've fitted an additional one just here. It's just on a little bracket under there so when I'm reversing you can see it now what I'm going to do I'm just going to switch the interior lights on and I'll get my uh, assistant just to give you an idea of what it looks like now you can't really see a lot because it's daytime but I just wanted to give you an idea of where they're fitted and they're fitted just there above the bar I'm going to go around the front and I'll show you the ones under the bonnet. These are the ones under the bonnet that are on. And these are the ones in the interior cab that are on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out later when it's dark and film them to give you an idea of actually how much light they give out. Hopefully some of you find it useful.